Hey, hey, Planner Babes. This is Brittany of Planning with Britt. Um, first of all, happy Wednesday. And you guys, I just received my package today of the Ferris Wheel Press inks that came out last week on, I believe it was February the 2nd. Um, I normally order my Ferris Wheel Press items from other stationery shops. Um, just because when they do pre-orders, I can order it and then it'll get shipped out on the actual release day which is what my order um did i ordered my stuff from let me make sure i pronounce the shop right Droom ghouls they are it's a stationary shop in texas um i also ordered from atlas stationaries um and another stationary shop but um but yeah i got the new inks uh and three inks came out last friday but i only ordered two of them and I ordered me my second Twisby pen, you guys. Isn't she gorgeous? I ordered the um, Twisby Echo Fountain pen in the translucent purple color. I specifically got this pen to go with the limited edition um, purple ink that came out. So that ink will always be housed in this pen altogether. Um, I've been wanting this pen for a minute. You guys know that my first Twisby pen I got for Christmas which was the cream one with the rose gold hardware so i opted to get this one to go with my ink and my cream one has a ink currently from first will press in it but i think i'm going to clean it out and use the other ink that i have to put in that pen um, so that way the new inks will be in my twisby pens but here are the two inks that i um ordered they are called knitted nettle and i might pronounce this wrong Aerorellis. Um, so this one is from the Fairy Tales collection for those that um collect Ferris Will Press inks. You know, every so often they come out with new inks for the first um I'm sorry for the Fairy Tale collection. This ink, however, is the 2024 limited edition ink, hence the foiling on this box is purple. Most times it's either gold or silver. Or sometimes the, the other the other um, colors of the ink. But I love how this box is. It is so gorgeous. And on the actual bottle itself, it says 2024 on there. So this is the ink. It says, embrace the future of fantasy and turn dreams into masterpieces. 2024. So this is, again, like I said, a limited edition ink. So I suggest that for my newbies in the planner community that are into fountain inks to most definitely go purchase this before this sells out um look at the shimmer in this guys i wanted to make sure that my camera caught it i have some good lighting in here today but look at how pretty it is the sheen the shine in it it's gorgeous um and i'll read on the box what how that entails where is it um oh okay it normally tells you on the box but it doesn't i know on the furry tail boxes i believe it does but this is a purple ink and the glitter in it is like a gold to i guess a, a duochrome if i want to call it like purple like a light purple and i think pink or gold and then knitted nettle, which is this one. I'll see if you guys can see that. That's a green ink, and it has the purple, gold, and pink um, chrome um, shimmer that's in it. Isn't that beautiful, you guys? So, yes, and that's this one. Now, I do know it should say it on this box. Here it is. So, on the knitted nettle, the base is dark green. The sheen is red. The shimmer is pink and gold. Um, I think on the limited edition ink the base i believe is dark purple i think the sheen it might be gold and then the shimmer i know is pink it should be pink and gold on that one also but yeah so here they are up close and personal the last two inks and i'll show you guys all the other inks that i have but i wanted you guys to see this up and in person um look at the shimmer on the green ink you can see the paint and look at the shimmer on the purple ink that is so gorgeous 
so gorgeous. Ah, there we go. I cannot wait to use these inks. I'm not a fan of green, but I like the fairy tale collection. I have like, I think one or two from that collection. But I wanted to try this green out because it had the pink and gold glitter in it. So I'm, I'm going to use it for most definitely the springtime. But um, I do have like two other purple inks. I have Poison Envy and Purple Jade Rabbit in my collection. So I wanted to most definitely grab this one because it's limited edition. But yeah, let me show you guys the other inks that I have. I don't have many. And I think next I'm going to start buying some um, fountain ink swatch cards because as you see, it's bleeding through <laughs> the book. But that's how I've been keeping track of my inks. So these are the inks that I have so far. I have Tumbling Time Blue, Queen and Castle, The Fluttering Hearts, Purple Jade Rabbit, Bumbling Blossom, Tumulus Tides, Poison Envy, Hardy Harvest. I have only one calligraphy ink, which is the Celestial Soray that came out in, that and Hardy Harvest came out in the last release, I'm gonna say back in the beginning of November. And then the two new inks that came out. Um, like I said, I didn't purchase the third ink. I think it was called Sherry Sonata. It was kind of like a pinkish red or reddish pink um, ink. It was really pretty, but it didn't have any shimmer in it. I am a shimmer ink girl. I'm all about the glitz and glamour and the sparkle. So I did not get that ink. I might decide to pick it up, but right now I'm all into the shimmer inks. So yeah. So let me give you guys a close up. That's how Tumbling Time Blue is. It's got, as you guys can see, a red um, a red sheen and base to it along with the blue. I love Queen and Castle. Oh, guys, the ink, it, the, on paper, it's just so gorgeous. That's the Fluttering Heart and the Purple Jade Rabbit. I believe they came out at the same time. Um, I actually have the matching pen for the Fluttering Heart. There's the Bumbling Blossom. That is a dark, like a hot pink. And that has green, green, pink, and gold um, duochrome glitter in it. I have Tumbless Tumatus Ties. There we go. I can't never say that right. That's a really pretty ink. I have a love for blue inks also, as you can see, because I have that and um, Tumbling Time Blue. There's Poison Envy. I love that ink with the purple, but the green um, sheen in it with the purple and the purple, green, and gold um, glitter in it. Hardy Harvest is a very, very pretty fall color. I actually bought, wanted this for the fall, so I was using it all throughout like October and November when I received it. And the glitter in that is rose gold, so I couldn't pass that up. I actually have the matching pen to go with the ink also. Um, like I said, this is the only calligraphy ink that I have. It's a Celestial Soray. I do want to get some of the other ones. The other ones don't have no shimmer in it. I think this one, um, Black Masquerade and Golden Gala are the Celestial inks with the glitter in it. And those were part of this release that came out back in November. So the Celestial Soray has glitter chunks, silver glitter chunks in it. Um, I tried to get that on the paper. There we go. And the glitter in that is very thick. So just an FYI, any calligraphy inks that you get, they do not go in any of the fountain pens. You have to use a glass dip pen for those. If you put if you put the calligraphy ink inside of your fountain pens, it will clog and damage the nib on the pen. So please, you guys don't only use glass dip pens, which I will show you. I have plenty of them, but for those that don't know what a glass dip pen looks like, I have a, a pack of six. I ordered mine off of Amazon, but these are the glass dip pens. You can also use these in your regular everyday fountain um, pens, which I do sometimes if I don't feel like using a pen or if my pen doesn't have the ink that I want to use in it, I pull out one of these bad boys. But most definitely for your calligraphy inks, you most definitely want to use the dip pens for those. And then, yeah, like I said, the last two inks. So, yes, that's my little collection of first full press inks. Um, and I'll show it to you guys up here. 
these are the inks that I own so far. This is my only solo that's not first world press. When I started fountain using fountain pens, I ordered this off of Amazon. It's just a pretty um, color blue. It's, it's a royal blue color. Um, I do use this ink from time to time, but this was my starter ink. And then once I discovered Ferris World Press, I quickly fell in love, as you see. So I started collecting their inks last summer. So that's how that went about. Um, following some folks on Instagram that are in the fountain pen world that love using fountain pens and Ferris World Press inks. So like I said, those are the ones that I have. Um, the one calligraphy ink that's back there. But those are my inks. So I have a total of 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yes, I have 11 inks so far. So yeah, and just so you guys can see the color, I left this out on purpose. Just so you can get a feel more for the glitter in those two inks. It's very, 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 very beautiful. But yes, that was my order that I received. Um, I will show you guys another video where I have... Both of my Twisbees inked up with these two inks. Like I said, this one will hold the limited edition ink and my cream one with the rose gold hardware. Once I clean that out and get that ink out of there, I will put this ink inside of there to also get ready to start using. Um, I hope you like this video. If you guys have any questions, you guys can, you know, shoot me a message on this video or you can shoot me a message on Instagram. I will provide my Instagram handle down in the description below. Um, again, also follow me on there too, because I do post different videos of when I, um, journal and use different inks and different stickers just about two to three times a week, maybe. So most definitely check that out so you can see how the inks look on, on, on paper. Um, and yeah, if you have not been subscribed to me, please subscribe to my channel. Please like this video and all my other videos on my channel. I'll be hitting you guys with another video by the end of the week of this pen inked up and using it on paper and my journal. And again, I want you guys to have a glorious rest of the Wednesday afternoon. And I look forward to talking to you guys in my next video. Bye, babes.